श्री कार्ति चिदम्बरम जी सर देर आर सर्टेन इवेंट्स इन नेशन हिस्ट्री विच अपलिप्स द एंटायर नेशनल मूड एंड ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी थर्ड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉज डेफिनेटली अ गोल्डन मूवमेंट इन आर हिस्ट्री वेन बिलियंस एंड बिलियंस इन इंडिया abatedly watched chandrayaan successfully land on the uncharted part of the moon it was a really an epoch making day and it was a day which lifted up the spirits of entire india this spirit was lifted up by isro which is manned by by people like tk anuradha m vanita latikamba kalpana kalasti mangala mani sohan subhashish nayak and the former director sivan and the project director veera muthuvel from bilpur these are people who come from small towns who studied mostly in government schools and in small and and in non private colleges not not very glamorous institutions who lifted up the spirit of india through isro so this house i'm sure and the entire nation pays great tribute to them sir it's not surprising that our defense minister who was a physics was a physics lecturer veered into philosophy veered into spiritualism veered into faith every physicist including oppenheimer who was the father of the atom bomb eventually became a philosopher and i'm sure our home, our defense minister has got a philosophical side to it but sir the point is we confuse spiritualism and faith i agree that science and spiritualism have a very close connection I agree that philosophy and science has a broad connection but sometimes we confuse faith to be spiritualism and science faith cannot be questioned because if it is questioned an ayatollah will give a fatwa a clergy will all, will expunge you from the church or a self styled godman will tell you that you are a heretic so faith is not questioned but spiritualism is questioned and science is questioned what is questioned is what can be science what can't be questioned can only be faith so let's not confuse faith and spiritualism sir i am a believer in god i have faith in astrology i have faith in god i have faith in ritualism that is my faith but that should not be confused with spiritualism or with science what is science is it must be experimentally proved it must be tested spiritualism is also tested nothing which is permanent can be science because science is constantly questioned but faith we believe is 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 permanent and can't be questioned so let us never confuse that and in today's world faith myth mythology fable, fable and are, are being used by charlatans in the guise of science and in today's political environment this confusion is getting even worse so it is very very important that we maintain the scientific temper of india which has been showcased by isro and by the various scientists i listed up sir it is actually baffling this question of us landing in the moon people have said we have launched the cheapest moon mission in the world the this moon mission was cheaper than the two bollywood the hollywood movies which are produced about space i completely agree with that but it also poses some very serious questions to us as a people as a nation i am not pointing fingers at the government how can we as a nation which is able to land in the uncharted part of the moon still have manual scavenging how can we not build roads which don't go away in one monsoon while we have this great scientific capacity where have we lost this i completely understand our heritage and our history has been very closely associated with science and with astronomy in tamil nadu you come to the bigadishwara temple you will talk about that building for thousands of years but i am not sure whether we are going to be talking about this parliament thousand years from now i am not sure whether this building will last thousand years from now where have we lost that that is where we really need to focus when i am completely in agreement that we must research we must test we must go back to our roots to find out where did we lose this science science which we all, we already had how can we as a people have this contrast landing in the moon and having manual scavenging at the same time how can we be there we launching satellites for everybody else but can't manage a road in a monsoon how, how why can't we do that there is something seriously wrong in our society if we can't if we can't leverage on the scientific advancements we've been making we really need to reach up there are geniuses in every town in every village then isro is being the classic example of little town india it is not the isro is not about ivy league schools 
ISRO is not about IITs. ISRO is not about Oxford and Cambridge. ISRO's success is about the genius of India. If you want to call it, call it Bharat as well. And we need to unleash that genius. And how do we do that? I have a proposal to the government. Please institute fellowships, scholarships and internships for ISRO in government schools, particularly aimed at government schools. You are very, very good in running national campaigns, I must confess. Please run a national campaign. Identify the next Kalpana Chawla. Identify the next Vikram Sarabhai from the government schools of India. Run a nationwide program. Encourage people to believe that they can also be part of it. Because people, until this landing happened, many people don't even know that ISRO was there. Many people do not know that they can become scientists. And here we have living examples of people from small towns who went to government schools becoming great scientists. Run a national campaign. Run fellowships. Run scholarships and run internships. Open the doors of ISRO to the average Indian who is so curious, who is fired by ambition, who is fired by aspiration to be part of it. Sir, this is a great day and a great time in our lives. It is important for us to merge our historic scientific knowledge with modern science. But let us never ever confuse ourselves. Let us never ever confuse ourselves with charlatans who, who, who confuse faith and who use that as a propaganda itself. I know many years ago, I am a firm believer in, in, in the, the Lord Ganesha, but they were telling us that Ganesha was drinking milk. But nobody ever explained it was actually capillary effect of a porous body which was actually sucking, sucking up a liquid. They tell us that first uh, uh, plastic surgery was on Ganesha without ever explaining how the circumference of an elephant trunk can be fitted on a human body. But sir, faith is different, spiritualism different. Spiritualism is questioned, faith is not questioned. But let us never ever confuse that. I, I, am, I am not disparaging any faith. I am a man of faith. I believe in God. I believe in rituals. I even believe in astrology. But that should never take away the scientific temperament of India. And we must be a scientific nation, build on the foundations and answer these contrasting questions which are being posed to us. I once again salute the unsung heroes of ISRO and hope we unleash the true potential of India. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.